All right, so I want to say good afternoon to Mr. Young Baines. Good afternoon to you too, my brother. What's going on? My nah, man, just here kicking back. Yeah, just yeah. slightly making big songs. Trying, bro, man. Trying. Like, you're just saying to me, like, you haven't really been recording, like, let's say, professionally for a long time. No, not at all. I started recording about eight months ago. So I remember the first time I even went to the studio and I was recording with Foots and he was like, do a stab and I was like, I don't know what that is, do I do, I don't know what that is, levels, I don't know what that is, I just wanted to spit and that was it. So was that a bit like, did you really have your rap for it now? Or how did that work? Yeah, the first time I went, um, I went on like YouTube beats and I was just doing like covers of YouTube beats and then after he played a beat on my way out and I was like, wow, what's that? And I was like, I had to beg him for it and he gave it to me and that was long enough. When you go into the studio for the first time and you have like other people in there, mm. like, are you confident with what you're doing once it's your first time? Yeah. How was yeah, it? when I went, before I actually recorded myself, I used to go to the studio, but just sit in the background, kind of, and watch other people record. So then after, when I went, it was like, I've really been in a studio with people, so it was a bit more, it was all right, actually, yeah. Tell me about that, like, where you're from. First of all, culturally, because I know where you're from, ends-wise. <laughs> Uh, you're putting it out, of course, you're putting it out of there. So, culturally, where are you from? Uh, my mum's from Congo, from Kinshasa, the city of Kinshasa. My dad's from Angola. So, I'm half Angolan, half Congolese from Africa. So, you speak French? Yeah, I speak French, yeah, mm. fluently, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll be a French soon, <laughs> yeah. like Hopefully, man. I've got a show there next month in Belgium. Oh, really? Yeah, so. That's yeah. pretty quick. How yeah. did that, with all this, okay, so, being from that background? Yeah. What kind of upbringing did you have? Being African is the yeah. same as every African kid, I guess, man. Strict house, isn't it? Strict house, you hit your teenage years, the alpha males start clashing. And you just grow out of it, innit? Yeah. I guess so. I guess that's the best description I can give. School? What was that uh, saying? Yeah, school was right. I'm actually academically smart, to be fair. Really? Yeah. Not well, big. Not, not, not China. Not China. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I went, I went to school, finished college. Yeah, decent grade, yeah. And that was based on, like, obviously the home bringing that you've got, like, focus on yeah, studies. Yeah, focus on studies, yeah. Did they even put out a career path that they wanted you to go on? No, nah, I, was, I was never chose, I, I was never told to go and do this or do that. It's just whatever you want to do, just make sure you're doing something that's right, innit? Yeah, man. So what, so what school did you actually go to then? I went to secondary school, I went to Eastleigh Community School in Canning Town. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went to school there. Yeah, Canton. Yeah, I went to school in Canton, and then college. I went to college in Essex, in Grays. Yeah, yeah, I went to college for about an hour journey every morning. The reason why you went. Mm, yeah, <laughs> same reason why I come away from school. <laughs> so yeah. That's that's the That's obviously then. You said that the music's a recent thing for you. Yeah. Um, what's it now like? Could you be becoming a more recognisable face? I don't know if yeah. you Keep it, yeah. yeah. Like you want to keep it like obscure and like, yeah, low key, nice. yeah. You've obviously, uh, yeah. most of the way for a lot of the <laughs> girls out there. So, like, how you now think of the attention that you probably wanted to kind of like, shy away from? Do you know what it is? At first, I thought I wouldn't be able to handle it at all, but now it's like it just becomes a norm kind of thing. So, you just take the appreciation, the attention, you just take it as appreciation. So, it hasn't been that hard to deal with, really. So, yeah, man, it's cool, man. I like it, man. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's does cool, it, man. Does it feel like a bit like when someone comes up to you, you don't know if they're just coming up to you for a normal reason or they're coming up to you for an honest reason? Like, yeah, so you're always like, you you know who you are kind of thing. So when people do come, you're like, just like a bit careful and see what they want kind of thing. Yeah, a bit defensive. What was it like yeah. for the energy for your, your show? Yeah, that, that was crazy. Was that was crazy. I couldn't even get on stage. I couldn't get on stage. <coughs> that was an experience. Like we've got to do that again. So walk me through it then, because I missed it. So, mm. um, so first, where was it? It was in um, Old Blue May. I think it was called Old Blue May. What was it called? Old Blue Last. That's it. Old Blue Last. Yeah. And you're going up on the stage. Tell me a bit about like, how it was when you come into the venue. I'm coming to the venue. I come there early, stressing though, man. Me, yeah, I'm a stressed like I'm a proper stressed. <laughs> the team will tell you I'm a stressed. Like, I'm just stressing like picking up phone calls. La, la, la. people trying to get in and then um, I just kind of like turn off my phone and then 
just waiting. I think I had SME opening first. He done a good job, and then Kojo opened, done a good job. Then it was my turn. So I'm coming down the steps, and I'm walking through to get on stage, and it's just like I'm getting my clothes grabbed up and that. Like, ah, man! <laughs> yeah, man, I love it, man. Fans be crazy, bro. Surprised you, bro. Hundred percent. I was not expecting that. Really? I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting that at all. I saw, I saw the snaps. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was not expecting that. It was mad. It was, it was a night to remember, man. And afterwards, you started to think, was that like the first taste of like, this is what I really want to do kind of like, for the rest of my life, so to speak? Yeah, I guess, no, that made it, that made it look like you can get there, like, you know what I'm saying? That makes you believe in yourself, because you've done it off your own name. That's your headline tour, that's your, headline show, sorry, that's your name. These people are coming out to see you. So it reminds you that you're actually getting somewhere. Because like, that couldn't have probably happened eight months ago. But eight months down the line, that's happened. So it shows you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's pretty dope.